So you know how oxytocin helps parents bond with their baby, right? It's the love hormone. But did you know that oxytocin also protects the baby's brain during birth? I promise you, this is one of the coolest things I've ever learned in neuroscience. So research has found that when mothers are getting close to giving birth, they will start to show these pulses of oxytocin in their blood. And the pulses will come more frequently and last longer as she gets closer to birth. And you might think this is the body saying, okay, here comes the baby, I'm gonna love this baby. But research suggests that this maternal oxytocin from the mother flows into the baby and changes the way its brain functions during birth. You see, being born is not super easy. It's actually very intense and threatening because the baby has to pass through this very tight canal, which can restrict blood flow. And when blood flow is restricted, brain cells can be starved of oxygen and nutrients and start to die off, which is obviously bad. But research shows that this maternal oxytocin triggers a shift in the baby's brain that basically makes the brain cells less active. And with less activity going on, the brain cells don't need as much oxygen. They can basically hold their breath for longer. And so in that way, this oxytocin is probably neuroprotective. Before you are even born, your mother's oxytocin is protecting your brain. I find that amazing. Biology is incredible. And if you like this fun fact, you would enjoy my book, Why Brains Need Friends, which shares way more things like this.